hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm been, i'm going to start a completely new show uh, this is episode one of fully coolie or flcl now um i've like you know like i thought about reacting to this because i've heard quite a bit about this show and this is quite an old show so obviously i've heard a few things and the thing that really intrigued me <laughs> about this anime is one of the most random thing that i've heard about this show i've heard that in this show there's a character who has an interdimensional portal in his head from where mecha robots come out <laughs> i don't know what to say if, if that's really true <laughs> i don't know what else could probably intrigue someone more to check this show out <laughs> that's one of the most random thing i've ever heard and i'm quite interested to see what this is about because yeah like like what like interdimensional portal in someone's head from where robots come out yeah that 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 really seems <laughs> very intriguing and i'm i'm going to check this out now and so i know like this this is quite a short anime i think it has six episodes so yeah it won't take like it'll probably take more than a month for me to react to i usually do uh one episode every week so yeah it won't be long so and i've heard that this even has a few uh i think two sequel movies and uh, i don't know if i'm going to react to that or not but i will see you know we'll see if after ending the show i'll think about whether to react to the movies or not but for now, let's get started. I'm, I'm really interested in what this show is about. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is a preference. And let's get this video started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Ashtanojo. <clears throat> Oh, he's referencing a different anime. The one who left. What parameter? Oh, game. Okay. Takun. Why underneath the bridge? <laughs> My homework. Is this a sister? Oh, I think so. Bat. <laughs> what? Wow, this song is really nice. Whoa! What's happening? I thought she was going to murder him or something. Um... Wait, isn't this, this, this is not his sister? Um, uh, what? Um, wait, what the hell is happening? This is the first episode. <laughs> what? A huge factory oh that thing okay medical machines that's a weird looking building it looks like an iron or some damn that's a lot of pollution Covered the city. Oh, interesting. Mamiya. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> um. Wait, so who is this girl?
Okay. It's like a letter we saw. Oh! Damn! Brother. Oh! 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 Whoa! What's happening? Damn, that guitar is... Um, yeah... Oh! Oh! <laughs> she snapped a picture! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> um I think he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's he's dead. Now <laughs> Wow, this is complete chaos. Uh What's happening? Okay. Oh. Damn, everything's in slow motion. What the hell? <laughs> oh lord. What is happening? <laughs> what? What's happening? Was that like a fourth wall breaking or something? <laughs> oh, oh, great. Wow. Okay. Hmm. What the? All his money is coming out. Everyone's so chill with this. Yeah, my question. No, after that. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? Oh no, his head! Oh my god! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> oh, I understand now what that is. The interdimensional portal, I think. Wow! Oh my god! Who's this? No! Vespa woman. What? Dante Monogatari. What? Um. Oh no, they are thinking that it's all oh, great. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, this looks like an iron, you know? The. Samejima Mamie. Oh no, here, here she is, the Vespa woman. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things happened. <laughs> wow, the same... Oh. Well, remember it's hospital. Okay. What the hell? Oh, Furikuli. Okay, that's why. Skin hardening syndrome. <laughs> yeah, what? Oh, no, is that girl? Wow, th this is chaos. Oh, they're the, they're the original people. Ah, <laughs> uh, there he is. <laughs> it's Nauta. Oh, that's why right. fully cool the FNCL. All right. Wow. Okay. Wait, who is this girl? The girl that was with him. Like, it seems that they live in the same house, so I thought it was his sister, but I don't think it is. Brother. Oh, he his brother also did baseball. Oh, oh, is this his brother's letter? Okay, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> cat. Does that cat has a mustache? What the hell? No, is that his mouth? Whoa! Whoa, what the hell? It's a ma manga panel? <laughs> wow, this is gay. They put... They put the manga, manga panel. Housekeeper. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, mommy is that girl. Okay, that girl. <laughs> <She's here. laughs> yeah. Then this dad is There's a lot of puns in here and wordplay Oh my god someone stop this guy He's, he's crossing the manga panels Wow. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, uh, wow. Wow, that was, that was, that was something. Medical machines. Who is he talking with? Uh. Mm. Oh, wait, what? Wandering house. What? Okay. Whoa. Okay. Oh, baseball. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, obviously you said that she can't. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh Lord. Wow. Wait. Oh, mommy came. Oh boy. Never knows that. Oh, I thought she lived in the same house. I was mistaken about that. The way she kind of said that in the beginning, I thought. Wait. Oh, she's uh okay, okay. I was wondering how are they related? Okay, it makes a lot of sense now, like why she he was actually okay. Okay, this is like a complicated situation. What? What? Brother? Oh! I realized it now. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Huh? 
would she say something about that in the oh oh great oh great what's happening um yeah <laughs> and this girl is quite excited for that yeah no doubt about that <laughs> <Whoa! laughs> yeah this is just what i heard My god, that's a whole robot. What? <laughs> what? What's happening? Yeah, I have the same question. Hmm, okay. Why? Oh, okay, that's what. Door reopened. Oh, it's gone now. Okay. What the? He has a robot companion now. Oh. Okay, wow, my god, that was something, um... <laughs> that was... <laughs> that was chaos. Full chaos. Oh. Okay, is this the ending? Wow, this is, this is a good song. Oh, this is like the real like footage from the real world. Oh, this is from Gynax. Okay. Wait, so this girl is an, really an alien? He said something about like her being an alien or something.
I don't know if that was like a joke that she made or if she really is an alien. Whoa! Wow, what's with this ending? <laughs> Okay, wow, my god. Oh, there's still something left. Let's see. What? Oh, that's the end. Okay. <sighs> my god, wow, that was a. That was a. <laughs> that was a start. Like. Wow. Like, the few things that I want to first, uh, like, you know, talk about is number one, I can see that this anime has a lot of. Uh, puns a lot of references a lot of wordplay and i'm sure i'm going to probably not understand most of it because first of all they're kind of doing it very quickly you know that's why like if like you know i'm, I'm properly not able to actually like you know <laughs> listen to it and actually figure out what they're trying to say you know the hidden meanings and but a few things obviously i'll be able to understand a few things which i have like you know like i know japanese like you know all like you know my knowledge of japanese is quite shallow obviously like everything i know is from watching anime and everything and like you know me watching anime for like eight years i i am pretty like you know accustomed to a few of the things you know the few of the um uh like what can i say like things that things that come up in anime uh, these type of references and jokes and wordplays so i'll be able to understand most of the stuff probably not all and uh like yeah that's what i was saying like they're, they're, as i said again like there's a lot of references i i think they kind of like give a little note in the in the top where they said that there's like one reference uh to ashita no jo and i've not uh, watched the anime or I'm, I'm not even sure if it has a manga or not i think like it has an anime i've not watched it so i wasn't able to actually get the reference that's why and i'm sure there are also a few other references as well and which i probably won't get unless and until someone tells me and but there are a few things i'll obviously get so you know the whole thing with the chichikuri they're like you know saying like you know that the whole thing with the word word play and everything like chichi also means father and like you know all that stuff so yeah those type of things those type of like um, easy um, to understand references and easy to understand word play I'll probably be able to understand but let's see okay that was the whole thing with that another thing that I really liked about this <laughs> is them like you know them being very um, creative with the way they did everything first of all the whole scene with them actually uh, like you know like actually like putting the manga panels you know and kind of animating them a little bit was quite intelligent First of all, it's very stylish, you know, like suddenly, like, you know, seeing the whole manga panel come up. And I wonder if that is actually how the manga is, you know, the, the panels that they were showing in the middle, you know, when uh, the dad was talking with the son, uh, with Naoto. Um, I wonder if the actual manga is something like, you know, it is, it is just like that. And they just, what they did is they just like, you know, uh, put that in this, uh, in the anime. And like the reason why I said it's quite intelligent is because <laughs> for that brief amount of like you know section, their animation <laughs> effort was immensely reduced. They just had to do a little bit of animation with the like you know like manga panels, and they kind of like you know did a little like did it in a very stylish way, and that was just it. It was intelligent. It was stylish. It was very unique and i love that portion you know the way they kind of did that and uh, <laughs> yeah that was quite cool i don't think i've ever seen an anime that did something like this and it's probably the first time and <laughs> yeah so yeah these were the things that i really liked and obviously uh, the story is kind of chaotic 
and it probably will take me a little bit uh, one or two more episodes to actually understand what's actually going on i understood most of the things in this show uh you know in this first episode and as i said like you know i already knew that i've i've heard about this anime a lot and the thing that i've mostly heard about and that really intrigued me about this anime is a uh, i like you know an interdimensional portal in the forehead from where mecha robots come out and that's what like you know we saw in this episode in the first episode <laughs> that was great <laughs> i was really intrigued at what the context is like you know like um as i said like i knew nothing about the anime but someone actually like you know i've heard from a few people that this is what happens like interdimensional robots from the forehead like i was really intrigued as to what the context it uh, context is and i have that now it it was basically the reason why he got that thing is basically because of what was her name haruka yeah i think that was her name alien girl her whacking him with the guitar i don't know why he suddenly got that portal in his head and like was that the the reason why he got that was that because of the guitar or was it something else i still don't know hopefully we'll get some answers <laughs> but yeah that was that was very random <laughs> okay so okay in the beginning the when we saw like uh, what was her name mamie mamie and now to uh you know talk uh, like they were talking okay uh okay mamie was saying something like just a sec like i'm trying to find that out uh <clears throat> okay uh, he's doing his homework Okay, Takun, what are you doing? He's saying homework. Why don't you do it at home? Now, the reason why this portion actually confused me is if you will read the subtitles, you can see that they're saying why don't you do it at home, which is correct. But uh, since I've been watching anime for quite a long while, I actually also kind of listen to what they're saying and kind of um, you know like. kind of like before even watching the subtitles sometimes i actually like understand what they're saying and what she actually says here is a bit different from the subtitles what she says here is just a sec uh uh takun says shikudai which is homework nande uchi de yarnai desu ka uchi de which i think means like like at our place you know and because of that uh even if the subtitles was at home i thought she was actually referring to their home like uchi de that is our place and i thought that naoto and this girl were actually siblings otherwise why would she say that why don't you do it at our place and like you know like it kind of confused me and at the beginning i thought that they were like siblings or something <laughs> and <laughs> then she started getting like you know like very what can i say like mushi mashi with <laughs> i don't know if that's the word but you know and then i was like what the hell is happening and then i realized that no this girl is someone else like uh yeah and <laughs> that that portion actually really confused me a little bit that subtitle portion because at, for a moment there i thought she was his sister or something <laughs> but okay like that was that and then in comes haruka and she just first of all she actually hits him with her his her bike then whacks him with her guitar and <laughs> then goes away oh and also like performs cpr on him and then goes away and like it's full chaos like all the things that were happening at, at that moment when everything was happening mamie kind of snapped a few pictures and and okay and now now that i think like see it again i can see that this was the time when there was like a little like because obviously i did not know what was happening here they kind of hinted what was happening with mamie the guy uh, naoto says that uh, just a sec where is it okay naoto says that you know what my brother in the us he yeah this portion uh, at that moment because obviously we did not i did not have any context 
I wasn't able to understand what he was trying to say. But here he was actually trying to say that why are you doing this like, you know, with me? Like my brother is in the US. No, no, no. I think no, I think he was actually trying to say that, you know what, my brother in US has already gotten a girl. Because in the end we see the the postcard the, the with the picture, you know, the letter. So yeah, I think that's what he was trying to say. Uh like uh but he got interrupted by uh Haruka. And uh, yeah, and then the whole chaos happens. <laughs> okay, then he goes back home, and then when he comes back to school, there's this kind of a rumor going on that there's like a Vespa girl who, like, you know, thinks, like, just a sec. Uh, when she stings you, if you've done something bad, the mark of the devil will appear. Now, here's this thing is quite interesting. The thing that he says, the classmate says that if she stings you, the mark of the devil will appear. Now, I don't know what the hell he was meaning, like trying to mean by the mark of the devil. I don't know what that is. But if what he says is true, then the Vespa girl, which is Haruka, who stung him or hit him with the guitar, resulted in him getting that thing so that probably means he did something bad and the whole bad thing that he's he did i don't know i think it's probably something related to mamie because you know like because mamie was kind of uh like you know on top of him and he was not stopping that technically and i don't know like maybe that was like the bad thing because obviously like as far as i could understand no wait no, we. I, I thought that okay. From did they mention that uh, Mamiya was actually his brother's girlfriend, or is it that like Mamiya just likes him? I don't think they actually mentioned that. Like I'm under the impression that Mamiya is actually his girlfriend, his his brothers, but I don't think they actually mentioned. It. Maybe she just likes him. Like, yeah, that might be it. So okay, so now I like okay now I'm really confused. I'm not sure what like you know if the, the whole rumor thing that came up where the guy says that like you know like uh, when someone does something bad, uh mark of the devil appears. Now I don't know what uh Naoto did bad or if this whole thing is even related to Naoto's forehead. Like I'm 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 thinking that the thing that happened to the forehead is what they're actually like you know referring to by the mark of the devil. But I don't know, like maybe this is something unrelated and maybe it's just, as you know, like, you know, rumors kind of get stretched out and become something completely different. So, yeah. Anyways, and okay, so this girl here, uh, Haruka, she gets very interested in Naoto and says that, uh, did something happen? Did something weird happen? Now, I'm not sure what she's actually trying to do here, but she seemed very, what can I say, <clears throat> enthusiastic about to watch now to what happens even when he goes to the hospital he kind of like you know follows him and all that chaos happens then when Naoto comes back the whole thing with the uh, dad happens and the dad says that he also got hit by <laughs> Haruka <laughs> and that's why Haruka is here now <laughs> and then I don't know uh, okay so now Okay, and then Haruka goes to Naoto's room and says that she's going to start living here. Now, before that scene, we see Haruka actually talking with someone. Is, her name is Haruka, isn't it? Or am, I, or am I just... Mistake, just a sec. Let me just double check her name, if it's actually Haruka. Haruko, god damn. Uh, I, I'm, I've been calling her Haruka all this time. Haruko. Okay, uh, like, uh, before... <coughs> yeah, what I was saying? Uh, yeah, uh, before Naoto came in, Haruko was actually talking to someone. And he, she said something like, oh, the boy is completely useless or something. <laughs> so, obviously, this is somehow related to the thing that came out from his head. But I'm not sure what that actually is. And I'm not even sure what Haruko's actual... Uh, goal is here and why was he interested in Naoto after he got hit and what is how is she related to the thing that popped out of Haruto's head uh, Naoto's head 
so probably hopefully we'll get to know that in the future episodes and uh, okay uh one thing that's kind of i don't know a little bit confusing to me as well is like Naoto comes down and his dad says that oh like you also got hit by haruko and he's showing the photographs and Naoto's like oh wait mommy mommy came he says that when did mommy come the dad says that she asked for the crusts and left over bread you're up to your years in this thing is mommy's family say poor question mark and this is also kind of like you know like i don't know like the thing that the dad says why did she ask for breadcrumbs and like okay he realizes something naoto runs out goes to the bridge and sees her on the bridge smoking now here's the question why did she ask for breadcrumbs and why is she on the bridge now the thing that actually i don't know kind of bothers me here is that is she kind of i don't know like is, is she like is there something in his in her house that actually is you know like making it inconvenient for her to go back maybe i don't know some kind of what can i say like maybe she's being abused at home or something is that it because it kind of feels like that i mean or maybe not abused outright but maybe like i don't know like being neglected or something uh, because she, you know like instead of going back home she asked for breadcrumbs and is in the middle of the uh, bridge smoking and eating the breadcrumbs so something must be up with her house the, you know why that's why she doesn't go back to her house and she's just like you know in the middle of the night on the bridge and now the knows that that's why he suddenly like you know rushes out and comes to the bridge so i don't know maybe i'm looking too much into things or maybe something really is the matter but we'll see <clears throat> okay now here's another thing that like you know the the actual thing that happens after this which is again surprising uh, as they kind of reveal the plot point here um how uh mamiya says that did he send some letter and naoto says that do you really like my just a sec where is it um, how much do you like my brother she says watermelon like when he asks like how much do you like him watermelon or like a panda with a mean face or a sandal with pressure points drawn on them or the smell of blackboard eraser or the sunday morning when you wake up and it's been raining well i like him more than stale bread crust now the thing that another thing that's really i don't know like contradicting here is she says that she likes his brother then why is she so touchy with him like that's another thing that's really contradicting and here this is what naoto says naoto says that then let's drop already but she doesn't listen and he says that you know he has a <laughs> and haruko's haruko's like you know taking it out uh, taking the pic uh, uh, letter out and in the picture there's a girl and it's written i got me a blonde gal okay i i was not expecting this actually and here's what happens uh, another weird thing happens here like the, the mommy is kind of like i'm guessing she was trying going to start crying here and okay like here's the thing so f a few things that i need to think about again number one so mommy it was not like like not like his girlfriend or something that was not it so mommy basically just liked him and probably he went away before mommy said anything to uh, the brother and now he get he got a girls like you know in in the um, in america and he's she's probably regretting it or something i don't know so that's most probably it another thing that happens here is like um haruko haruko's 
that's a thing like a, a kind of chain thing in her hand it starts reacting and the weird thing that actually happens here is mamiya starts like mamiya says that i'm going to overflow like what what do you mean and again another weird thing happens the <laughs> The forehead starts growing and there's this weird robot coming out like these sections actually does not make any kind of sense and i'm sure they're actually going to explain it in the future <laughs> you know the happenings that happen after this and like i'm not even sure why haruko was interested in that weird robot thing that comes out of naoto's head and why that actually affected Mamiya, because Mamiya shouldn't be affected at all with that. So, but yeah, anyways, um, it, out comes the robot thing and it jumps up. No, what happened? Just a sec. Okay, the robot comes out. The robot comes out already with a hand another mechanical hand holding grabbing onto it and the robot kind of shoves it away and the, the robot and the hand the mechanical hand have a fight on top of the bridge and then Haruko just comes in and just whacks the robot and after that we see like Haruko and the robot the robot is now helping Haruko to do something I don't know what the hell that oh he, he was <laughs> he was making dough and uh, like and like it is like blushing and everything wow that was weird and then like you know like uh, then outside mommy is there and like you know he she gives him the drink and before that he did not drink it but this time he actually drank it even though he said that it's sour so yeah Wow, as I said, there's a lot of things to actually process here. A lot of things actually doesn't make any sense at all. And I doubt it will make any sense without any context. But there's a few things that I was able to gather, uh, like, you know, a few things, like obviously with the thing with the brother. And that was very apparent. And I'm not sure if my, like, you know, suspicion is correct, but something must be going on in Mamiya's house. I don't know what, but something. Yeah, and that's why, you know, she's kind of outside. And another thing that is actually confusing me is um, why is she so touchy with Naoto even though she likes uh, I you know what I think the reason behind this is probably because she is insecure that's most probably it and she's trying to find like a, I don't know like it's kind of weird to actually say it this way but a replacement you can say you know it's trying to find like you know like Naoto's brother in him and that's why she's so touchy with him you know like this is like basically because of insecurity most probably and she knows that like you know the the the, the brother got a girl and her you know like her feelings would probably won't be uh, uh re re what's it called won't be reciprocated yeah i think that's what it's called so that's why she's kind of trying to, I don't know, as I said, kind of so touchy with Naoto because, yeah, I don't know, but most probably because of that. I might be wrong though, you know. So yeah, most, the, the reason must be insecurity. And yeah, but we'll see. Mm, yeah I'm, I'm i'm really interested it's, this first episode really was like you know very interesting and i'm quite looking forward to what's going to happen after this what more chaos <laughs> we'll we'll see so yeah so that's it guys like that was a great episode loved it i'm really looking forward to the next one so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to fully Cooly flcl episode number one so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of fully coolie
until then goodbye and have a nice day